beautiful well back into it here we are another video um been doing a little bit since the last video well lots of like sussing and stuff just figuring it all out um when i came into this i had like no knowledge of k k series motors so every little step of the way it's a learning and and figuring out the different stuff um so the last video was about making the sumps um that was real challenging and i was really happy with it but it just turned out just not not quite like how I wanted it. Um, it sat a little low, um, which prompted me to make some more engine mounts, which I've done, made these out of steel this time. Um, it's much sort of simpler and I can, I could probably, you know, take this to the company and get them to cut these parts. So these are like reproducible, which would be sick. Um, but they're just much tidier. So I'm happy with them and they set the motor slightly higher. Um, still clearance, super clearance for the bonnet but I just want it up a little bit. Um, but the main problem I had was I used too thin a material and I had this clamped up to the block or bolted to the block when I welded the outside. But when I welded around here, I didn't obviously. So it ended up shrinking and I managed to get it to bolt up, but it was fouling on bits of the oil pump and it just wasn't gonna work. I wanna be totally confident in this. So, um, gonna scrap that and since I'm gonna have to make another one I thought well I'll change position of this so this is up a little higher um, we just got more clearance now you know so gonna have to make another sump um, I've been working on that on the computer because I want to do it um, on CAD this time so that I don't have to cut it all out with the grinder and shit so that's mean learning so we're just mocking stuff up there um, but onto my actual engine done a bit of freshening up obviously i'm not getting this rebuilt so it's not going to be it's not going to get acid dipped in and all that business so i've painted it as best i can painted the water pump housing and and all this stuff painted my front cover and we've got a bunch of freshen up bits um got some crank seals um these water neck stuff this is just a knockoff one but it's such a simple piece of kit that i've and really see deem it necessary to pay exorbitant prices especially in new zealand everything all the shipping really adds up so yeah just knock off guy but got that blank off plate um oil pump chain a few sensors here and there new timing chain tensioner got some hardware this morning just make everything look a bit nicer got some o-rings 50 degree VTEC cam gear um and yeah, just little little bits and pieces, painted my pulleys, painted my water pump and shit. Um, so yeah, we'll get into putting that together today. Try and get this more or less put together. Um, don't know what colour I'm painting this, but I've got to weld on some, some AN fittings and figure that out. But we'll try and get the rest of the motor together. And then hopefully soon I'll have my next generation sump finished. Can get that on. Um, so yeah, slow progress, but it's kind of difficult, so doing the best I can. Um, but yeah, we'll get into putting this whole thing together. And yeah. Righto, so um, that was probably like a month ago now. I went to go film that video, it was all ready to go. Took my rock cover off and found rust on my cams, which really pissed me off. Um, and I just had to stop. I was like, no, nah, can't deal with this right now. I didn't want to like jump to conclusions. I was pretty pissed off. So I just sort of chilled on it um, and haven't really touched the motor for a few weeks now. Um, been working on the sump, got some really cool stuff going on there. So I'll get to that later in the video. Probably gonna be kind of lengthy one, um, but yeah, been doing shit. So I bought some new cams, I decided no, nah, keep it OEM, don't go crazy. Don't want to spend too much money. Um, so, got some more cams. They were pretty rusty. Um, I'll put a picture in, but I covered everything in oil and rotated it all. And I've come back to it now. And they actually look all right. Um, there's like a bit of marking on them, but they don't, they don't feel like pitted or anything, so. I don't know, that one looks a little sketchy. 
I can't feel that though. So we might be alright. Might give them a little polish or something. Would be good to not have to take them out. Um, so yeah, that was really frustrating. Sort of thought, what the fuck, am I, what's going on? Anyway, why are my cams rusty? Well, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, I made a pretty rookie mistake. I don't know. Obviously, I know not to get shit in my bottom end, but uh, yeah. So when I was fabbing up the first sump, uh, I was like, oh, I need to cut that a little bit. And I just went in there and cut it with the grinder. And without thinking at all, I sprayed dust all over the crank and the rods and all that. It's only aluminium dust, so not as chronic as if it was steel, but still, you know, you don't want that shit in there. Um, and I was kind of like, fuck, what am I going to do? Like, how do I clean this out? So I just left it for a while. Um, I wasn't really sure what my plan was. But anyhow, when I was painting my block, um, on to clean it, like I said, I'm not acid dipping this, but I still want it to look nice. So I'm giving it a wash and... As you'll probably know, this is like a crankcase breather, I think, for on the K-Series. And I got some water in there, and I had the sump on it to try and stop getting water in there. But long story short, I just ended up getting water in the fucking motor. Um, and I thought, okay, shit, like, I need to clean this out anyway. I've got dust in there. Just go full hog. So I brake clean the fuck out of all the crank and everything. And then I hosed it out, and then, you know, I, obviously I'm not fucking completely retarded. I didn't want to put water in the in the bottom end of the motor, but I thought at this point, like, this is what i got to do. Wash all the dust out. You're getting shit in there anyway. Get it all out. And then I filled up a spray bottle with diesel, and I coated everything in diesel. Um, did the same. Pulled the covers off. There was a bit of water in there. Covered all that in diesel. Um, but, yeah, it must have just not been enough. Um so yeah when i pulled my covers off when i was about to do all this assembly stuff i found there was rust on the top of the cams and i was just like fuck because I, I figured maybe that meant like there's rust on the bearings and i don't know there could be but at this point i'm just gonna just hope for the best and if i get to the end of the swap and go to start it and it, the, the motor's flogged then i have to get a new motor but i don't want to get into that now it could be fine I have since covered everything in thick oil and, and even in the cylinders and cranked it over and, and since coming back and looking at it with the oil and, and cranking it over, the cams actually look okay. So we might be right there. But yeah, learn my lesson. Frustrating as cars can be, just simple mistake really. Um, really kicking myself for that, but yeah, so I had to stop. I was just pissed off, man. So I've been working on the sump. I'll get into that later. That's, that's pretty exciting stuff there. Um, Right now, just gonna get into doing what we planned to do last time. A few more things showed up. Um, got a little dipstick here and a little dress up kit just to make that top look a little nicer. Um, so yeah, I guess the first thing, oh, I put my new timing chain on because I wanted to um, time it up so I could rotate it all. But I'll probably pull that off again and do it properly because I need to put my 50 degree cam gear on. So yeah, a bit of an update, little uh, little hurdle there, a little kink in the road, but such is life, huh? Had it all glad wrapped up, but I'm kind of happy that those, this is really the only one that I'm stressed about, but I can't feel it. Looks a little sketchy, but I can't feel it, so I think we're good. I didn't bother filming that just then. I just put on the windows tray and properly installed my pump with the modified pickup um, and blocked off that little oil restrictor. Um, if you want to know how to do all that, probably watch Jimmy Oak's video where he does all his like must-do mods for a K24. Um, and I also can't play music in here off my phone while I'm filming, but found an old one. So we're all good. I'll chuck this on and yeah, we'll get into it. I guess first things first, put that 50 degree cam gear on, um, put the timing chain on. Now I can do that because I got the oil pump chain on and then just, yeah, figure out the order of order of it all, put all, put all my new bits on and start getting assembled.
So why is it got to be so damn hot? Cheers. So, got all the motor together. Um, I don't know the, like, the order I'm filming stuff when I do this, so I filmed my sump stuff yesterday. So I'll cut to that now, update on that, and then I'll go back in and wrap this up. So um, here we are with the sump. This is what I've been working on for a little while now. Um, always wanted to get it on the computer but I've never done anything like this before, so it's been real slow, just tinkering on it here and there, trying to trying to learn the process of, of using CAD. I'm using um, Fusion 360 at the moment because it's free, or the trial version's free. Um, I don't think it's that ideal, but it's the best we've got. So yeah, just been trying to figure this out, make measurements off the car, and then come in here, and, and yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm not good at this, so it has taken a long time. Um, when I've gotten right to the end here, where I'm happy with the design, I've, I've got a mate who sort of does this for a living, and he's helped me, I've sent him the, the file, and he's changed a few things here and there, just to make it a little easier to manufacture, and just work a little better, you know, um, so that's sick, but yeah, the great thing about this is, if I have any problems with it, you know, it's not, it's not, um, I don't have to make the whole thing again by hand, I can just, you know, be like, okay, this part needs to change here, we'll move it, 30 mil or, or whatever and and then I could just get another one made which is hopefully not gonna be too expensive um, but yeah I'm just not keen to keep making them by hand if I do have to make you know a few revisions and the cool thing about this is once I've got one I'm happy with I can you know I can provide them for other people wanting to do the same swap um, so that's cool and the next step in this process is I mean I ha I'm happy with this now this is sort of prototype one or two if you like because of the first one I made but that same mate who, who helped me out with it's got a um a little CNC desktop engraver thing and he's laser like laser etched the flat patterns in cardboard so we're gonna go cut those out and tape it all together and then I should have like a pretty accurate representation of what this is gonna look like and how it's gonna fit so we'll test that on the car and if that's all good then uh, we'll go from there and, and hopefully get one actually made and and, and get it home welded up and, and that'll be real cool. So hopefully that all works out. So yeah, that, this is where I'm at with that. Um, yeah, if I, since I haven't really been doing a whole lot of work on the actual car, I've been spending a lot of time just learning really how to use the software and all that. Um, but yeah, get on to that cardboard now. There she is. It's not obviously going to be like super accurate, but it's enough to sort of get the, the gist and make sure that I haven't made any massive mistakes. So we'll go chuck it on the car. So I don't have my energy pay right now, so I'm just jacking it up like that. But my first problem was I wasn't going to get the pan on with the sway bar connected. So I've taken that off and then the pickup's really in the way unless you really move it around. And I think we're gonna be all right, but it does worry me a little bit that this is cardboard and not right to the dimensions. So, I mean, it's about how you go and kind of has to wiggle on. But it does get there in the end. Pretty happy with that. So next step's gonna see if it fits around the subframe and stuff. So test fitting the pan on, or well, the cardboard pan on the dummy block is pretty successful. Um, obviously my dimensions here are not going to be exact because it's cardboard, but get a pretty good idea. Um, I'm really happy with all the clearances really, except just under here. We're a little close uh, there. And I want to bring that edge back 
so that I've got more room to put my pickup in. Um, so I'll make those adjustments on the CAD file, and then I think we're good to go and get one, get one made up out of metal. So that'll be sick. Um, so yeah, today finished putting all this together. Homie came over, gave me a hand. Um, nothing crazy, like haven't rebuilt it or anything, but yeah, just put all my painted bits on. A few little fancy bits and pieces here and there. Um, some sensors and shit. Got my oil pump properly fitted up. Um, plugged that little hole, new oil pump chain guide. New timing chain, tensioner, timed it all up. Um, yeah, just just assembled it really. Basically all the shit I took apart. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking though. Um, I guess what's next, probably get a clutch and fit my gearbox up like permanently. Um, and yeah, go from there, then I can start putting it back in and once it's got the sump on it and that's all finished up, then that'll be real sort of motors put together, you know, which would be sick. Um, haven't done this yet, we haven't painted it, cleaned it up because I still need to weld on some um, breather hoses and I don't know what colour I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah, been a pretty successful day. A little bit scary timing up a motor and stuff, especially when you're not familiar with it, but it actually Honda makes things nice and easy, so that's mean why I like Japanese cars. Everything's like how you think it's gonna be. It's like, makes sense. Um, I guess after this, make a hot side. And I've been wondering what I'm gonna do for intake manifold. Um, but I think I've got an idea that's gonna be cost effective and hopefully look nice as well. But yeah, don't know what the next video is gonna be about, but yeah, bit of an update where we're at. Um, hopefully make some more progress soon and thanks for watching.